measurement will measure clothes when we buy something from the shop we'll see the weight and we'll see the volume of liquid these all are measurement so first we we'll learn about length measuring length we use some unit to measure the length of objects there are some non standard and standard units of length non standard units of length first we we'll learn about non standard units of length non standard units of length are finger hand span a foot span a cubit and a pace we can measure using our finger small things like pencil uh small small things we can measure with your finger hand span hand span is from the tip of the when we spread the hand from the tip of the thumb to the tip of the smaller finger is called a hand span next is cubit cubit is from the elbow from the elbow to the tip of the longest finger from the elbow of your hand to the tip of the longest finger is the cubit foot span foot span is from the tip of the longest toe to the end of the ankle that is the foot span tip of the longest toe to the end of the ankle next is space space is the uh, space is from one uh, foot to the other foot when we put one foot and then put other foot that is the one space so we can measure a pencil using our finger length of our room can be measured in foot span length of your table can be measured with hand spans standard units of length units of measuring length the standard unit of length is meter we can uh, measure a cloth in meters long distances are measured in kilometer so from your school to dam uh, school to the other school can be measured in kilometers smaller lengths are measured in centimeters like the length of a book can be measured in centimeters a scale is used to measure short lengths in centimeter we write meter in short form as small letter m and centimeter as small letters cm 1 meter is written as 1m and 5 cm is written as 5 cm measuring lengths using a scale how will you measure the length of a pencil using a scale we have to start from the zero marked in the scale put the edge of the pencil the tip of the pencil on zero note from the edge of the scale put the tip of the pencil on zero and note the position of the other end the position of the other end gives the length of the object that's all for today thank you